Chris, can you give us a, a player's perspective on the current situation and uh, how are you finding it at home? Yeah, obviously we've gone home on Friday to self-isolate ourselves away, doing what the world wants us to do. And we just, we've got a what bike delivered on Monday and we've got a heart rate belt so we can have an app so that we can send what we're doing. And then we're just basically being family men and being dads and doing work as quick as we can and uh, staying up at fitness as much as possible, possibly we can. How's the homeschooling going? Homeschooling is not great for me because I wasn't very good at school. But uh, yeah, me, me missus is doing that. We, we're trying our hardest. We're uh, trying our best to, to understand it all. And uh, yeah, going homeschooling and walking around the garden, picking flowers and putting them into a book. How have the club maybe advised the players in terms of doing some training at home? What are you able to do? You know, what's, what's your equipment like in the home? Um, how are you keeping busy in terms of the training? Yeah, well, Sheffield United organised us to get what bikes sent to our houses, uh, a load of weight, so we can keep the programmes. Uh, we've had programmes sent in by our fitness staff, and, and we've got apps that we can uh, monitor our heart rate, heart rate on, so there's no hiding places for the boys. We've all had to post our sessions that we're doing in. We've had the missus and kids videoing us doing the sessions as well. Uh, like you can see around the world, people are just trying to stay fit who are in the football game, and that's what we're doing, and We've been given some things just to, to monitor how, how, how we can do it. How much of a challenge is it, though, that you can't you know get out and have a game regularly and, and stay sort of in touch with the football side of things as well as much? Yeah, I think that hasn't really hit home yet for me because obviously with, with, our, with our team, no one had the, the virus, so we were managed to stay training until Friday. And then after that now, it's starting to hit home that I'm not waking up and going to football and training and things like that so I'm just basically yeah like we, we can't really go out and about and kick the ball around and we just have to just try and stay fit and when we come back hopefully we can have a week or two weeks to get ourselves going with the ball and get back playing again which everyone can't wait to do. It feels very important to keep reiterating that everybody needs to stay at home in the country. I suppose footballers can help spread that message can't they because the popularity of the game in this country is so big. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing. I think footballers like like the one who used to be at Sheffield United, Harry Maguire, has posted stay at home. And I think that's the thing. We need to help out the NHS as much as possible. And we want to stay at home to help this out so that we can go out and entertain again. I think the more and more people don't stay at home, is, is the, more that it's good, the longer it's going to take. And I think that's why footballers are getting it out there and football clubs are telling people to stay at home. It's a surreal situation, isn't it? I mean, have you had much chance to... To sort of reflect on on what's happening at the moment. No, I, I'm I'm a bit like you guys and yourself. We don't really know what the next step is, what the next stage is. I'm just turning on the news, hoping for the government to make a speech of what's what's next going on. I think it's a day by day thing that's happening. I mean, I went to the shops yesterday to get food in, and there was no. It was like a ghost town, and I'm up in Newcastle at the minute with with my family, and we're locked away. But it's just amazing to see the difference of. Of, of the world, how, how it's going on, what's going on. How important do you think would it be for football to come together at a time like this and to help protect the grassroots and the clubs and the schemes who are maybe going to be hit hardest financially? Yeah, I think it's definitely United. I mean, I've been listening to Talk Sport talking about these these ongoing things as well. And I think the more, the more you feel that the clubs need to help out or even us as players need to help out, we will do the best we can. And I think... That's the most important thing. Everybody just needs to knit and grit in together and hopefully help out the clubs because it's then such it's such unknown circumstances and things that never ever no contingency plans would have been made for this and this is why it's it's so uncommon for things to happen like this. Do you have a view on what is the best way to finish the season? And should players have a big say in that, given that you're gonna be the ones who will eventually go out and compete again with a, an unusual schedule down the line. Yeah, I think obviously our man just spoke to us in the week and he wants the season to end and so do all the players. I think all the hard work we've put in, all the all the emotion and all the all the uh, the goal the goals that we've set are, are all going to be put to, or put to bed. That would be that would be really heartbreaking. But at the end of the day there's more of a there's a more epidemic going on at the moment that we just have to sit back and hopefully the season can start when it can and the Premier League <clears throat> use their knowledge and advice by others that, that when when that can happen. There's no part of you then that thinks, well, you know, if they don't 
carry on playing, Sheffield United may well finish in Europe or if this has set the season off now. No, I think obviously everyone's a fair crack of the whip, like the manager would say, and he wants us to be finished the season, get all the games in and go from there. I think if the season got, I'm not really, I'm not really sure how, how it would work. How, if the season gets null and void, what happens from there and who gets relegated, who stays up, who comes up and it just wouldn't be fair. I think the season needs to be finished however long it's going to be and I think that's the perspective of all the boys as well.